UK has a new prime minister nothing new but at least the Tories used to have a symbolic voting every time before creating a new prime minister this time the candidate has become the prime minister by naturalization it seems we will tell you all about it but before that if you're a fan of non corporate funded free news and analysis you have landed on the right youtube channel okay let's begin david cameron's return to the political limelight as britain's Foreign Secretary marks a striking political resurgence, evoking considerable attention both domestically and internationally. The former Prime Minister seems to embrace his new role with a vigour that blurs the lines between his past and present positions, projecting the stature of a current head of state. His recent activities underscore his dynamism, notably his keynote speech commemorating NATO's 75th anniversary and his diplomatic engagements in the United States aimed at rallying support for Ukraine. Cameron's meetings with influential figures including Republican President nominee Donald Trump, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell highlight his active role in acting like the PM he is not the resurgence is met with acclaim in britain's centrist media publications such as the financial times and the new statesman lord cameron's return extolling his effortless authority and significant influence on the global stage signifying a potent endorsement from the nation's elite media circles however cameron's prominence poses challenge for the current prime minister rishi sunak who initially facilitated cameron's comeback in a bid to enhance his government's credibility so next strategy aimed to leverage Cameron's reputation to navigate the administration through a period marked by political instability yet Cameron's overshadowing presence and media adulation might not have been the intended outcome potentially complicating Sunak's efforts to assert his leadership amid Britain's complex political landscape the decision to reintegrate David Cameron into a prominent political role particularly as Britain's voice on the international stage has sparked significant debate and concern the move has not only appeared to diminish prime minister rishi sunak's authority but has also raised questions about the appropriateness of cameron's leadership style cameron's return to the forefront of international diplomacy especially at a time when global conflicts and shifting alliances demand nuanced and deeply informed responses has been met with skepticism Cameron's approach to foreign policy characterized by a focus on image and moral posturing rather than substantive strategic engagement ill suits the current geopolitical challenges. His tenure as prime minister was marred by bad decisions notably the 2011 military intervention in Libya. While intended as a moral stance against dictatorship, the aftermath of the intervention has had long-term destabilizing effects underscoring the critique of Cameron's superficial engagement with complex international issues moreover cameron's comments on israel particularly the controversial characterization of gaza have been cited as examples of his tendency towards moralistic rather than pragmatic diplomacy david cameron's recent remarks on the conflict involving israel and hamas have ignited a significant debate cameron's critique of israel's military operations especially concerning civilian casualties has brought his diplomatic approach back into the spotlight his assertion that britain's support for israel is not quote unquote unconditional alliance with the history of engaging in foreign policy through his shape shifting moral lens as evidenced by his involvement in libya's military intervention during his tenure as the prime minister The reception of Cameron's statements varies widely, reflecting deep divisions in public and political discourse over the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. While some praise his willingness to address civilian casualties and question unconditional support for Israel, others criticize him for what they see as a double standard given the outcomes of his previous military decisions furthermore cameron's approach has resonated with certain segments of the political spectrum altering perceptions of his legacy those who previously criticized his leadership are now reevaluating his stance on foreign policy issues particularly his more critical view of israel compared to his predecessors david cameron's reengagement with international affairs particularly his recent comments on the israel hamas conflict exemplifies the complexities of political legacies the challenges of ethical foreign policy and the divisive nature of global conflicts and it definitely brings to light the perils of inviting an ex prime minister as an apprentice neither israel nor gaza 
care for Cameronisms, but Sunak surely does, especially because he is an unelected and a fairly unpopular Prime Minister. This is turning out to be a particularly bad year for Sunak as his military chief is publicly wondering about a citizen army of everyday Brits turned weekend warriors. Here is how UK's tough guy facade is falling.